Hello everybody. Today I am going to talk on linked list in data structure. Linked list is a data structure that overcomes the limitations of arrays. What are the limitations of arrays? Arrays cannot be extended easily. Arrays are expensive to maintain new insertions and deletions. What is linked list? Linked list is a series of connected nodes. Each node has two parts. One is data and other part is pointer or the address to the next node in a list. So in this picture each node has two parts. One is head part and the next one is address part. So head points to first node. Last node points to null that is end of the list. Consider an example. In a supermarket items are organized in alphabetical order. Say bread, cookies, egg and gingerbread. If they are introducing new product say donut they have to be placed in between cookies and egg. So they have to move all the items right to insert a particular item. It is a complicated process. So if we go for linked list, each node maintains a data and reference or address to another node. If you are going to insert an item or any number of items, it is enough if we just change the link of the node. Look at the picture. Here to insert donut, you have to give the address of egg to donut and address of donut to cookies. So insertion is done easily without any complication. Next, the advantages of linked list. Linked list is a dynamic data structures. That is, number of nodes in a list is not fixed. It can grow or shrink on demand. Next advantage is efficient memory utilization. Linked list allocates memory whenever it is required or as it is a dynamic data structure. Next advantage is insertion and deletion are done easier. Linked list provides flexibility of inserting and deleting a node from list. Next we will see basic operations of linked list. Creation This operation is used to create constituent node as and when required. Insertion To insert new node in a list either at the beginning or at center position or at end. Deletion To delete a node from list at beginning or at center position or at end. Other operations Traversing Going through all nodes from beginning to end for searching and printing. Concatenation Process of appending second list to end of first list. These are basic and other operations of linked list. Now we will see types of linked list. Single linked list, circular linked list, double linked list, circular double linked list or the types of linked list. We will see one by one. First one is single linked list. Single linked list is like a normal linked list that we discussed earlier. Each node stores the data of the node and the address of next node. It does not contain 
pointer or reference to previous node look at the picture you can understand next one is double linked list in double linked list each node contain the address of the previous node and next node each node points to not only the successor but also its predecessor it has two null at first and last node the advantage of double linked list is convenient to make backward traversal next one is circular linked list in circular linked list the last node contains the address of the first node that is last node points to the first node of the list consider the picture here the last node points to the first node in a circular manner next one is circular double linked list as a name indicates circular double linked list is a linked list where the first node linked to last node and vice versa that is the first node contains the address of the last node and the last node contain the address of the first node in circular linked list the traversal is possible in one direction but here the traversal is possible in both the direction from first node to last node and vice versa thus linked list is explained shortly thank you please subscribe my channel for more updates thank you